You don't have to go far to enjoy bagels, but you do have to know what you're doing to make them right. Martha Teichner has the whole truth. Oh my. Mm. Look at that. Very, very, very crunchy. Oh. I wish I could just hear yes. it. Have a bite. <laughs> <laughs> it seems downright cruel. See that? That Beth George has to teach her clients to make bagels over Zoom instead of in person right now. They're wonderful. Yeah, it's an art. And still still A client in Mexico. I'm from Bangalore, India. Bagels in India? Now I'm going to show you the oven. Ready? <laughs> Who knew that a woman in Rwanda might want to open a bagel shop? Have you ever seen a mixture this big? No, no, never. <laughs> Beth George practiced law for decades before starting BYOB Bagels. It can be be your own boss bagels. It's also bake your own bagels, <laughs> bagels, and build your own business. Bagels were brought to the United States by Eastern European Jews in the 19th century. How did a Lebanese Christian end up one of the world's few go-to bagel experts? Because of her son, Spencer. As a kid, he was diagnosed with serious food allergies. When I realized that Spencer could not eat regular wheat anymore, I said to him, what do you miss the most? And he said, bagels. <laughs> Ta-da! Uh -huh. <laughs> There's the bagel moment, okay? Beth George taught herself how to make bagels out of spelt, an ancient relative of wheat Spencer could eat, and went into business, joining forces with Frank Morrow, who sells bagel and bakery equipment. He convinced her to stop making spelt bagels and start teaching people how to make the perfect New York style bagel. We like our bagels in New York, crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. For the record, her commercial kitchen is in New Jersey. It's all about the ingredients. It's the water, obviously, but it doesn't have to be New York water, it just has to be good water. So you can make a bagel outside of New York, a very good one. She enlisted me, I think, to demonstrate that a bagel... It's okay if it falls on the ground. <laughs> ...is not a piece of cake. I was doing pretty well doing for a great. while. Okay. Did you know bagels have to be boiled or steamed before they're baked? Don't forget the schmear, Yiddish for what you spread on your bagel, and the lox, the smoked salmon. Goldilocks bagels outside of Boston. Yes, Goldilocks is one of 40 or so businesses Beth George has helped launch. Lindsay Gaudette was a business analyst for a high-tech company. Her husband, Ed Thill, is a chef. Right away, Beth put us to work. She's like, you, you know, go way out this tub of water and this much flour, and you, you do this. Which meant we got, we, it was boot camp, and boot we, camp. Got, we got to learn it. I called Beth my bagel whisperer, and I call her my bagel mama. There's an umbilical cord that goes across the sea from her to me. All the way to Gothenburg, Sweden, where transplanted New Yorker Elizabeth Rubin in 2018 opened Jimmy and Jones New York, named for her father and his twin sister. In Sweden, they had what looked like a bagel, but it was just bread with a hole. It was like an imposter. <laughs> now they've got the real thing. 